Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Will my ex come back uh, for Cancer? Uh, this is going to be for December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so Cancer, uh, these are for you guys that are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you or both of you are wanting uh, reconciliation. Um, so we're going to take a look at your overall energies, uh, your overall mutual energies right now. And uh, we'll see what happened between you guys in the past to cause the separation. And then we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be reconciliation between you two. Uh, keep in mind that um, you can apply this to your own unique situation. Feel free to switch the roles if you want. Also keep in mind that I'm tapping into the Cancerian, overall con collective can Cancerian energies. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energy. Um, uh, I only do that in my uh, personal readings. So if you're looking for a reading that is tailored to your own unique situation and your energies, I suggest you booking a private personal reading, okay? So uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, uh, tell me about the overall current mutual energies between Cancer and their ex. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. So even though if I'm asking about the mutual energies, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe you're feeling this way, the other person's feeling this way, or uh, you both are mutually feeling this way, okay? All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups. So Virgo energy pre empress energy. So someone here has Virgo in their chart. You might have Virgo in your chart, um, Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune in the Strength card. Leo energy. Could be dealing with the Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. With the Hangman here. And then the Empress. I mean, we have someone here that has taken a step back to reassess a situation here this cup that's been offered to somebody. Perhaps you're already speaking to an ex. Perhaps you're considering maybe giving this person a chance. But right now you're in this really strong energy, um, this energy where, you know, you're standing on your own two feet, you know, you know your worth here and you're not gonna chase anybody. I mean, you're in this pre-empress empress energy. We have this emperor here. Seems as though this person might have left you to be with someone else, but uh, it may not have worked out uh, because it seems like there, there was an ending here, perhaps with a third party. So you could be dealing with an emperor here, Cancer. So, um, I mean, place yourself where you see fit. We have an emperor here and an empress, so you could be even more. Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to protect yourself right now. Um, so if this person has approached you, has already approached you, I feel like you're pushing this away. I feel like you're just going to take some time and sort of watch how this person behaves to see if there's uh, any change with this person's behavior. Because maybe this person at some point, you know, acted impulsively. They touch something or they were doing something that they shouldn't have done. Someone here might have really poor self-control. The Six of Wands. I don't know, we have we have a feminine energy that feels like they, you know, deep down inside in their heart, in their mind, they know that this, this might not be successful again. The Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Yeah, there's this inner knowing that maybe something here has not changed. Strength, 
Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you, your self-confidence was really broken down by a lot of mind games here, uh, a lot of jealousy. Uh, I feel like this person made you feel less than... They just made your self-worth feel very low because perhaps this person was comparing you to like a bunch of other different people. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I just feel like you're being really cautious around this person. Extremely cautious. Someone here is being cautious. Maybe both of you are being cautious. I don't see why that, uh, yeah, I don't see why this emperor would be cautious if they, this person caused some tarot, some sort of tarot moment here by, you know, kind of like, you know, looking at third parties or dealing with third parties. The Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like the Six of Pentacles should be in the reverse because I feel like you're not as generous as you used to be. Definitely have someone here that's coming back around. The thing is, they're coming back around without their intentions being known here. So let's see what else we have here for you, um, Cancer. All right, what caused the separation here between Cancer and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December. 2021. What's called what caused the separation between uh, Cancer and Venus here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What caused the separation here between Cancer and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. All right, we have the Chariot here and the Ace of Pentacles. So um, more can. That's your energy right there. You could be dealing with another Cancer here, maybe. We have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay. King of Cups and the um, Hermit. I feel like this person withdrew from you. I feel like this person was dealing with a drinking problem. This person was deal dealing with a lot of trauma in their life. I feel like there's love here. I feel like, that, you know, I feel like there was this energy of trying to kind of take things to the next step here, but it just ended up blowing up because someone here was, like I said, had poor self-control. Someone here was following their passion, their sexual passions here. Uh, could be a situation where this person was dealing uh, with their own karma. Perhaps this person, you know, dumped their own stuff on you. Um, let's see what else we have here. All right, why is this chariot here? Tell me about the chariot. Oh, hold on. That's too many that flipped over. All right, why is this chariot here? Our chariot and the three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys tried. I just feel like with the Three of Wands here, it just never really materialized. I mean, the next one is a Four of Wands. That speaks of a healthy, stable relationship, yeah? So, uh, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor here. Aries energy. We have the Emperor showing up again. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. So, you could have been dealing with someone here that was really selfish. This person wasn't really willing to give up, really truly willing to give up their pentacles or their cups. We have someone here that was really sharing their emotions. Someone kept hiding them. So it was this masculine that kept doing that. Nine of uh, wands, nine of wands and the seven of pentacles. This person could not, this, I, I you know, when you were around this person, this person could have come off as someone here who has a lot on their mind. Their emotions were really heavy, could have been dark also, a bit twisty, uh, but I feel like this person 
could not stop thinking about this like traumatic stuff that happened in their life. And I feel like this person never really shared it. I do feel like this person does struggle financially also. Uh, there's worry surrounding money here, especially with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles being here. Yeah. I just feel like this person didn't really have a lot. And you're coming up as the Empress and the Pre-Empress here. So this is telling me that you have, you know, abundant amount of positive energy to give. And, you know, this person, you know, wanted that. Perhaps wanted that, uh, wanted to be around you to sort of like maybe balance them out in a way, but it just sort of never happened. Uh, Seven of Cups here. Knight of Pentacles. Could have been dealing with someone here that is super, 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 super slow to open up with their emotions. I feel like there's an energy of like trying to beat it out of this person, but they would never tell you. Never tell you. Now, I don't know. Yeah, you know, if there were third parties here, I feel like this person had trouble releasing it. I don't know. I feel like these third parties in a way kept them stuck. I feel like this person might be a, be a people pleaser. Yeah, I feel like this person might be a people pleaser. All right, let's see what else we have here. Will there be reconciliation between Cancer and their ex? Will there be reconciliation between Cancer and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. Will there be reconciliation between Cancer and their ex? The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. Aries energy, Scorpio energy, the Knight of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Cups. So we have the King to the Queen of Cups, the Emperor to the Empress. We have some true pairs here. Will there be reconciliation? Mm. I do feel like there will be some sort of conversation. I mean, you two are facing each other right here. Yeah, you two are facing each other right here. The Magician and the Six of Swords. You know, I feel like we have a king or an emperor that's trying to propose, you know, trying to move on from this, trying to heal from this. And I feel like this person's going to try everything that they can not to walk away from this and sort of like face this head on sort of thing. Yeah, this person is facing their karma, facing their problems head on. And I feel like this person might be looking for your support or something like that. Um, cancer. Tower. The Tower and the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person might want to reunite or something like that. Because I feel like they're facing something huge, something monumental. Something that's maybe awakening them here, perhaps. The Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. You know, I feel like this person doesn't really want anything more than perhaps a friendship because I feel like this person's coming back around looking for your support as they go through this process of processing all this, perhaps this trauma that they've been through in life. Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles. I feel like they're just looking for a safe place here with you. We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there's airing a, a bit airing the side of caution here too, because I feel like we have a queen or an empress here that is not really going to fully give to this or really just going to keep to themselves. Magician, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Yeah, we have someone here that's trying to perhaps, yeah, trying to make things right here, trying to move things along, trying to move forward, but looking for some sort of support. Yeah. The Emperor. 
Aries energy. We have the Three of Wands here. I feel like someone here is looking for support, for some sort of healing here. Someone here is looking to, yeah, reunite with their Empress and their Queen. They're going through a lot and they're looking for your support to heal, basically. So, but you're cautious about it. You're very cautious about it. Because obviously you don't want to get hurt again. So, um... Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. If it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.